Hello friends and welcome to Linda Linthicum United Methodist Church. Last evening I had the honor of being invited to the table of Semra Yavuz, a woman who has become a friend to me. She is part of the Turkish American immigrants group here in Howard County. She and many of the other members of that group have been a part of our life together through our uh, world religions class a few years ago and through an iftar dinner last year and through some other individual connections that people have made. Last week I was invited to be a part of a remembrance at Temple Isaiah, a large Jewish congregation in Fulton, not far from our conference center actually. And it was a time of remembrance and prayer and sadness and solidarity uh, based on what's happening in Israel and Gaza at this moment. Both of these groups of folks with whom I have shared time just in this last week trace their ancestry of faith to the same person, to Abraham. We trace our ancestry there as well. We talk about the Abrahamic faiths Jews and Christians and Muslims that we all trace back to the same source. For Jews, it's through Isaac, uh, who was born to Abraham by Sarah, his wife. And for Muslims, it's Ishmael, who was born to Abraham by Hagar, his, a maidservant in their home, in their uh, community. Both of them if you look in the middle of the book of Genesis, you will find that the promises that God gives to Isaac and to Ishmael are almost exactly the same. God promises both of them land and descendants and says, I will make your name great to both of them. And that's been a point of contention for a long time, hasn't it? And aren't we seeing that come to bear even now in the Middle East, as there is fighting and slaughter and killing and so much distrust between these two parts of the family of Abraham. There is a psalm that says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I invite you to do that, and not just Jerusalem. It is really meant metaphorically, not just the city, but also to think about the surrounding area. Praise for the peace of Jerusalem and the peace of Israel and the peace of Gaza and the peace of the West Bank. Pray for all of those places because each of them, each person who lives in one of those places is a child of God is a child of Abraham, as are we. It can be so tempting to choose size, to assign blame, to make someone a demon. Above all else, please resist doing that. Do not demonize everyone, because every person who is struggling in this time, every person who has lost a loved one in this time, is precious to God. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen.